Red leader to red five, come in. Red leader to red five, come in. Howard, you promised. Fine, red five to red leader. What do you want now? It's 11.15, I'm requesting your quarter hourly location update. Still right behind you. Copy that, Red 5. <laughs> Radio contact is sufficient. No need to extend your middle finger. So, Amy, I've been wondering, are you and Sheldon going to be sharing a room? No, we discussed it. We decided we didn't want to jeopardize our relationship by getting to know each other too well. Indeed. Nothing sours a friendship more than over-familiarity with someone's toilet routine. I can vouch for that. Hey. Not you, him. Oh. Thanks. Although yours was an eye-opener. Don't worry, Penny. You're my plus one. You'll bunk with me. And FYI, travel makes me constipated, so I'm the ideal hotel roommate. <laughs> Terrific. Are we there yet? Good morning, and welcome to Science and Society. I'm Dr. Sheldon Cooper, BS, MS, MA, PhD, and SCD. OMG, right? <laughs> Perhaps that joke was a little too hippy-dippy for this crowd. All right, then, we'll begin with opening remarks. Ms. Rostenkowski, would you like to start us off by discussing your assessment of science's responsibility to society? Sure. I think all branches of science have to move cautiously these days. It's not just giant nuclear weapons that can destroy the world. As a microbiologist, I can tell you even the tiniest organisms can still tear you a new one. Interesting. I think what you might need to know about my colleague is that though she claims her field of interest is tiny organisms, she certainly has spent her fair share of time around what we can assume was pretty massive weaponry. I think Mr. Wallowitz needs to keep in mind that the past is the past. But he should know that I am the kind of girl who could get all the giant missiles she wants. Are we talking about women wanting penises? Because I'd like to weigh in. Dr. Kuthra, Polly, would you care to join the conversation? Well, certainly. I'd like to raise two points. Number one, I think they are talking about penises. <laughs> and number two, these mimosas are kicking my little brown ass. <laughs> I'd like to kick your little brown ass. <laughs> what did I do? Oh, I don't know. Maybe when you walk into a hotel room and you see a guy getting back together with his girlfriend, you should consider doing something other than crawling into the adjoining bed. I did. You said no Bridget Jones. We weren't getting back together. It was a one-time thing. Excuse me. We're not taking comments or questions from the audience just yet. Oh, shut up, Sheldon. Hi, bestie. Why don't we see if we can bring this back to topic? Let me ask you something, Bernie. I guess not. How would you feel if you met my ex-girlfriend and she was like Angelina Jolie? Oh, come on, Howard. Be realistic. What? I'm not hot enough for Angelina Jolie? I'd like to weigh in here. No. We open it up to Q&A from the audience. Yeah, I have a question. Is there anybody who can get me the hell out of here and back to Los Angeles tonight? I'm driving back to L.A. tonight. 